Hey, it's Shay and welcome back to Shay's Artsy. And as you all know, it is the month of October, which means Inktober is going on. The month-long art challenge that entails you practicing your line art using only ink. Now don't worry, I have been keeping up with the prompts lately. There's a little sneak peek for you. And today's prompt is fuzzy. So what I usually do is look up the prompt word or look up the definition of the prompt word just to see what Pinterest thinks it is and just to see how far I can stretch the prompt just so I don't do something obvious. For this one I did decide to do something obvious because fuzzy is as straightforward as it gets. So I saw this picture of a baby crow that reminded me of one of my original characters I've been um, writing for a possible webtoon in the future so because my OC Vincent he has a penchant for like crows and ravens he has a pet raven I decided I'd just draw him interacting with with the raven when they were both like young So yeah, I quickly just dropped down a sketch and I'm sorry I know my hand is in the way it sucks being right handed when the camera is pointed at this angle But yeah, I've I've kind of developed my line art style to where it's similar to the classic comic style of having thick black shading and then hatching. I found I really like that style and I incorporate it in my work. And also because I wanted to knock out more than one things from the same prompt I decided to give him a sweater a fuzzy sweater give a fuzzy crow and I guess you could call his hair fuzzy so technically I knocked out three prompts in one I did go in and give the sweater more detail because Let's be honest, I was thinking about Knives Out, but I was too lazy to go back and check Chris Evans' sweater to see the details. So I just, based on my knowledge, just gave it a detail of a regular cable knit sweater. And I added some witty banter. Just like a cute joke. It reads better when you see me draw it first. Ideally this would be in two panels with the birds cheap and then his response. But I think it still works. Either way you read it. I'm finishing touches by using my brush pen to um, add some just to add some random hatching in the background just to give the image more um, composition so yeah thank you for watching this is my process 
on how I complete a Inktober prompt. Thanks for watching. Remember to like if you like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.